I'm the chief commercial officer for a uh, technology company, uh, kind of late stage startup company. We brought in Chris uh, when we started going heavily into commercialization of our product. Uh, we needed project management expertise. Uh, we uh, developed large scale projects for energy power production. And uh, the projects uh, were disorganized. They didn't have uh, all the rigor needed for project management. Uh, so we brought in Chris for training to begin with. So he trained our staff on uh, basic project management principles, uh, schedule, budget, constraints, and so forth. And, uh, and then we decided to bring him in uh, for actual uh, work in our company to, to pull together our project management uh, tools so that we could have a tool set going forward. So we transitioned him from just training to actually working on uh, projects in our company. Uh, so uh, he worked with the people that he was training uh, to continue training them, but also took the, took the reins of project management and uh, developed uh, all the templates required for project management, developed the online tools or software tools required uh, to keep us uh, on track. And, and so put the whole system together for project management. So not only training, but actually doing the work. Uh, so it was very effective. We got our uh, people up to speed on project management uh, requirements. We got uh, uh, the tools in place required for, for uh, keeping projects on track and monitoring uh, scheduled budget, uh, technical progress, so forth. Uh, and it really was a turning point for the company in terms of coming out of what was a pre-revenue situation to commercial, uh, commercial operations. Uh, so we appreciated his work very much. I would say our clients were a little uh, uneasy with SkyFuel because we were a startup company. Uh, we hadn't really done any large projects before. They wanted, to, they, they wanted to be sure that we could actually pull off these projects you know, on schedule and budget and uh, correct technical performance. Uh, so I think when Chris came in, particularly when he was interacting with our customers, they got a sense that, okay, somebody, somebody knows what they're doing here. Uh, they know uh, how to get this product in the field, how to get it installed, how to do it on budget and schedule. And uh, he kind of had that air about him of confidence and followed it up with action. So it definitely uh, improved our company image with our customer base. One of the issues with this is with our supply chain. Um, we had a supply chain manager that was, I would say, going through some growing pains of how to deal with these large projects. Uh, Chris was very patient with him. Uh, I'd say he went out of his way to help him on a personal level with the job as well as, as the kind of functional level. And, uh, and kind of behind the scenes in a, in, a, in a way, as a consultant, he wasn't trying to be dictatorial or uh, authoritarian. He just kind of helped him behind the scenes, helped him find the problems, helped him actually look good uh, in the situation. Uh, he's effective in all realms of operations management, I would say, to expand that. So in operations management, in our case, is not only project management, but uh, supply chain, um, you know, its production of equipment and so forth. Uh, he worked effectively with our manufacturing team uh, to make sure that uh, products were uh, manufactured and delivered on time, helped solve problems there uh, with supply chain or for outside vendor management. Um, and all those things are related to project management, but it's, it's more than just sitting behind the desk on your computer screen looking at a you know, Microsoft project or whatever. It's getting out and actually engaging people on the team to make sure things are moving smoothly. Right. We talk quite a bit about risk on our projects and contract uh, uh, adherence and also um, helping to set up the requirements for the contract up front. You know, there's a process where you have to go through a contract, find the requirements, and make sure those get uh, integrated in with the project plan, and uh, so we make sure that they're fulfilled in the project. And Chris was uh, effective at doing that, kind of going from the, you know, the kind of uh, wanky legal text that, uh, from the contract to, okay, what really needs to happen on the project and how we're going to accomplish this. We had a project manager that was kind of under his wing. Uh, I wouldn't even call him a project manager before Chris came. Uh, he wanted to be a project manager. And uh, Chris not only helped train him and other staff, but uh, worked side by side with him for project management. And then when he left, uh, that project manager kind of took over the reins. A young guy, you know, learning. 
and he was uh, he was effective after Chris left in managing the project. 